Okay, we've seen Superman filming there that McDonald's, the first shooting where it first took place, which was a contradiction to the other footage that we've seen. All right, the, the fellow himself, or the woman himself, whoever that person was, we've seen in other footage, well, we've seen in that footage, but we didn't make a remark on it, but we remarked in our other videos that they were off the ground. They were higher than a normal human being would be, unless they're six foot six, say. Because they've got to be at least six foot six upwards off the ground, the minimum, six foot six. Right, now we come to the eyewitness. Here we go, this is the same footage. Eyewitness says shooter targeted children at McDonald's in Munich, which makes a change, doesn't it? Because it's normally McDonald's that target children. Brooke, a very dramatic account from this witness. Dramatic it's a woman. Account. We're only calling her Loretta right really? now, just for her safety. Loretta well, my Swift. producer, Dougal McConnell, speaks fluent do, German, do, and he do, was able do, to do, reach do, this woman do, by calling different do, stores do, do. in that area of that mall. He reached her when she was hiding in a windowless store right next door to the McDonald's. Now, Loretta told us this that she was in the McDonald's when a gunman uh, came out of a bathroom and started firing. She said she was only two centimeters away from him. She said his back was turned to her, or she believes she would be dead right now. She says her eight-year-old son was in the bathroom with... Hang on a minute. What on earth are these buggers going on about? What a load of contradiction. Did you get it? I just let it play through, but did you get it? Let's take it down bit by bit. How you? Well, Brooke, a very dramatic account from this okay. witness. It's a woman. We're only calling her Loretta right now, just for her safety. Uh, my producer, Dougal McConnell, speaks fluent German, and he was able to reach this woman by calling different stores in that area. So, in that area of that mall, he right. Okay, so. Your friend, this journalist, he contacted all the stores in the area, in the shopping mall. Because <sighs> he was fluent, fluent in German, alright? So anybody picks up the phone, he can communicate with them in German. So he's looked up all the telephone numbers of the stores in the shopping mall, having first obtained a list of all the stores in the shopping mall. Absolutely pigging ridiculous, isn't it, this story? And he's phoned through and he's got hold of one woman out of all the shops and she just happens to be holed up where? Reached her when she was hiding in a windowless store right next door to the McDonald's. Now, so she was in a windowless store hiding next door to McDonald's, but the shopping mall is opposite McDonald's. So how can she be in a windowless store next to McDonald's? What happened to the telephones in the shopping mall? Why didn't they? pick up. You just happened to find one woman who had been in McDonald's. How convenient. Hmm? Nobody else down, down in that mall. Somebody must have picked up the phone and said, Oh, uh, Heil Hitler. Hi, ha, ha, hi, ha, hi, 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 hi. Japanese, oh no, hi, um, oh, sorry, hi, very, very sorry, um, wrong country. <laughs> Bump. <laughs> oh, come on, let's have a go, keep going. Loretta told us this, that she was mm -hmm. in the McDonald's when a gunman uh, yeah. came out of a bathroom and started firing. She said she was only two centimeters away from him. She said his back was turned to her, or she believes she would be dead right now. She... Her back was turned to him, he was only whatever two centimetres is, I haven't got a pigging clue and I don't want to pig him now. Um, give us in inches any day. 
She had her back to him, so she had eyes in the back of her head, did she? Because how could she have seen him if she wasn't facing him? If she had her back to him? Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, came out of a bathroom and started firing. She said she was only two centimeters away from him. She said his back was turned to her, or she believes she would be dead right now. She says... Oh, I see. His back was turned to her. My apologies. She... His back was turned to her when he came out of the toilet. And then he started opening fire. Okay. Her eight-year-old son was in the bathroom with him and saw him loading his gun. Here's a little snippet of sound from that. So her eight-year-old son was in the bathroom whilst the fella was loading his gun. Absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? Hey. They get worse. And people are sitting here and they're believing this crap. If you're a gunman, do you take an empty gun into a building, go into the toilets, stand in front of the urinals, <clears throat> take out bullets and load a gun, Well, for one, you don't do that because you walk into a place with a loaded weapon and you discharge that weapon at every bugger in sight. And then maybe you go to the toilet and reload, if you wish. But you go in already loaded. Secondly, you don't stand in a piggy new rhino. If you're going to do it, you're going to go into the cubicle and shut the door. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, if you're in a urinal and a big, bigging guy comes in and you're putting bullets into your, into your gun, he's going to thump you and you're not going to get up, are you? Because you don't know who's going to come in. Secondly, person comes in, sees you loading your gun, they'd run out screaming, Hey, everybody, there's a man in there loading his gun. By the time you've loaded your bigging gun up, every bugger's gone at the restaurant. There is no reason that a man should go in, or a woman go in, or a dwarf go in, or a parrot go in and load his gun in the toilet. <laughs> okay. Carry on. My son. My son. Saw in the toilet the man loading his gun. Yeah. It was a pistol. I come out of the toilet and I hear this like an alarm. Oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> Her son was in the toilet. He didn't get shot. Her son was eight years of age. According to the story, children were the victims and were purposely singled out so he manages to get out of the picking toilet to give her this story she's coming out of the toilet one moment she's sitting down and he's got her his back to her how can she be sitting pegging down witnessing him coming out of the toilet if she's just come out of the pegging toilet oh for goodness sake <sighs> play it through again he was able to reach this woman by calling different okay. stores in that area of that mall. He reached her when she was hiding in a windowless store right next door to the McDonald's. Now, Loretta told us this, that she was in the McDonald's when a gunman uh, came out of a bathroom and started firing. She said she was only two centimeters away from him. She said his back was turned to her, or she believes she would be dead right now. She says her eight-year-old son was in the bathroom with him and saw him loading his gun. Here's a little snippet of sound from that. My son saw in the toilet the man loading his gun. It was a pistol. I come out of the toilet and I hear this like an alarm. I come out of the toilet and I hear an alarm. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. Still killing the children. We make nothing. The children were sitting. So she's come out of the piggy toilet. Oh, my goodness. 
He doesn't see her, and she's relating that he's firing his weapon at the children sitting down. Oh, it just gets crazy and crazy. Eat. They can't run. No, you wouldn't. Now, Lorena also dumped. told us that she heard the man yelling, Allah Akbar. She took uh, her children away from the store, and she also took another shooting victim away from the store. Click oh, right, they said they were in a store now, were they? Not in a restaurant, not in McDonald's, they're in a store now. There's a difference between a store and a, a restaurant and a fast food outlet, isn't there? She just took her children. He didn't get shot then when he was in the pig in toilet, that eight-year-old son of hers. And now she's not. Now she's got another pig in son in the frigging restaurant on his own because she was in the pig in toilet. She was in the ladies and her other son, eight-year-old, was in the other toilet with the gunman. And now she's saying she, she took her other child. Her children are there. So she's left one child in the pig in restaurant all on his own to be kidnapped by some bugger. And of course, to be shot by the gunman, but he doesn't get shot. Run. Hmm? Now Loretta also told us that she heard the man yelling, Allah Akbar. She took uh, her children away from the store and she also took another shooting victim away from the store. Clearly, Brooke, she was very upset with the... She took another... Oh, here we go. The heroine of the moment. She salvaged another... Victim, and she took him away from the store. Where did she go? That scene, she's thankful to be alive, thankful mm -hmm. that she and her two children both made it out of there unscathed. But again, she said her son saw the man loading his gun, that this was a pistol. She described him as a heavy set man wearing dark clothing, and she described a little bit of what uh, that, that video that we just saw kind of bore out. She, she described him going then out of the McDonald's, mm -hmm. saying that he then went across the street to that mall. Uh, and went inside the mall. That that McDonald's, uh, according to what she said and according to what we saw on maps, is just across the street from that mall. But the McDonald's appears to be at least one spot where the shooting started, Brooke. Targeting. So you've just contradicted her. <laughs> this gets getting more, more crazy every minute. So she has said, as an eyewitness, that the fellow went out the McDonald's where she was and her children and he'd been shooting other children and he, he went outside and he went across the road to the shopping mall and again how could the Scottish fella fluent in German contact this woman in a shopping mall when she wasn't in the picking shopping mall <sighs> but apparently in a store next to the shopping mall Okay. She's looking out and she's seeing the fella going across to the shopping mall. In the footage that we've seen, he doesn't do that. So how can she say that he went out of McDonald's and went straight across to the shopping mall? She and her two children okay. both made it out of there unscathed, but again, she said her son saw the man loading his gun, that this was a pistol. She described him as a heavy set man wearing dark clothing, and she described a little bit of what uh, that, that video that we just saw kind of bore out. She, she described him going then out of the McDonald's, yeah. saying that he then went across the street to that mall. See? Went across the street to that mall. The footage we've seen, he didn't. The person stood on the pavement and started sh pretending to shoot. Uh, and went inside the mall. That, that McDonald's, uh, according to what she said and according to what we saw on mm -hmm. maps, is just across the street from that mall. But the McDonald's appears to be at least one spot where the shooting started, from. See? Contradictions? Well, we'll leave it at that. We can't even get the big story right, as usual.